Welcome to my tips and tricks on how to make my breakfast frittata. What you'll need is a leek, some almond milk, chives, some Danish feta, this pancetta which is optional, some garlic, onion, baby spinach, mushrooms, egg, and you know, you can always have a bit of salt ready just to season towards the end. To start off with, you're gonna prepare your onions. So take the top off your onion and then divide into half. Nice and easy to peel away now. Okay, now making sure we have our knuckles over the top of our fingers, you're gonna simply just slice through like that. Eventually when you get good at it, you can do it with a bit more speed. Just into a saucepan on a medium heat, we're gonna caramelize the onions for about 10 minutes. So about a tablespoon of oil into the saucepan. And just ensure that it gets a nice lubrication throughout the pan. And you're putting these onions on early because they take a bit longer. So by the time your frittata's ready, these are ready to finish it off. So onions go in, and you hear a nice sizzle. So we're just gonna let them do their thing for a bit. So the onions are caramelizing, let's get started on our leek. So all you need to do is remove the end bit which holds it together. And then what you need to do is make sure you take off the other end and you're left with the solid, I guess, meat bit of the leek. Cut it right down the center, like so. That way, when you're chopping, it's more stable to work with rather than a rolling edge. Now, nice and easy, again, as always, knuckles over the top. This is gonna take some practice, but always have those knuckles over the top and elbow out. It may feel awkward. I've done this plenty of times with you know students and people who want to learn, but it's just something that takes time. Because then eventually, Okay, so as we're prepping everything, you can see it's a really simple dish just to bring together over a short amount of time. Our onions are doing their thing. We're getting everything else ready because all you do is bring it together. Next thing is our garlic. To remove our garlic, you simply take off the root end and then putting your blade over the top, you're gonna squash it down like so. And now all you need to do is just simply shell it. It peels off nice and easily. From there, again, back to our chopping, knuckles over the top and just roll forward. My elbow's out to the side. I'm getting a nice smooth action. Practice makes perfect, and you just get more speedy at it. Into a large fry pan, just add a tablespoon of oil. You can always tell when the oil's getting hot enough because it moves about the pan real smoothly. So now you're just gonna add your leeks straight into the pan and allow them to sweat down. Just shake the pan a little bit, making sure the leek is evenly distributed. So now it's time to get onto our chives. So to finally chop these, you simply grab them in a bunch, grabbing our knife, and just rolling forward. And then eventually, you get into a motion. The base of our frittata is gonna be our eggs. Now eggs are the best form of protein for you because they contain all 20 amino acids. Best test though is to see how well you can crack them in one hand. I always have a technique, hand over the top as if you're holding a cricket ball, get a clean crack and then pull it apart. As always, takes practice. Like that. Yeah buddy. A good test though is to see if you can do it with two hands and this is gonna test me. Oh, still got it. <laughs> Just made that one. Now you add your almond milk. And then you add half the chives. Okay, now using your egg beater, get a bit of a whisk on. This ensures you get a bit of volume. Okay, so eggs are done. It's been about 10 minutes on our leeks, so I'm just gonna add the garlic to the pan. 
So along with the garlic, I'm also going to just tear open some pancetta. I'm not going to chop this. You know, don't have to be too finical about it. And because of this, you don't have to add extra salt. You know, you can avoid adding that extra salt because it's been cured in a little bit of it. It is an optional extra. You know, obviously if you're doing a vegetarian meal, don't add that. There's, you know, a lot of different variations you can do, which is the best thing about a frittata. Already I can hear a sizzle coming through just from that pancetta hitting the pan. From then, let's get onto our mushrooms. Quality produce right here. Just take the end off and then just make little chops evenly as you go down. Going to add that to the pan as well. Beautiful. So we're getting a real meatiness, a real earthiness from this pan with all the flavours going in. But with a frittata, you can have any variation you want. Please, I want you guys to come up with your own recipes. Add your sweet potato, add your capsicum, add your tomato. And it, it can be any meal you want throughout the week. So I can see our mushrooms are getting a nice colour. I'm just going to add, you know, some, uh, some of the baby spinach on top. Now you can do this in two ways. You can add all of it at once, or you can add it in half and add the rest of the half after I pour in the eggs. So just a final whisk of our eggs. We're just gonna get them finely aerated before adding them to our pan. So you can now top that with a bit more spinach, a bit more pancetta. You know, I'm gonna season that with a little final bit of salt. So now is the critical part. You're just going to check to see that the edges of the frittata are getting cooked because straight after that, you're just going to put it straight under the grill. It's been about eight to 10 minutes, so it's time to check in our frittata. Oh yeah, buddy. Right, so to remove our frittata, pretty simple. Get your base. In this case, I've got a pretty wicked pizza board. Uh, on top, you flip it over and just pray. Oh yeah, buddy. So to finish off, we add on our caramelized onions. Okay, then I'm gonna sprinkle over some Danish feta and it crumbles so nicely. And of course, you gotta finish with some color, so remaining chives. A frittata is a really good way to show your imagination. Experiment, mix and match, come up with your own combination. This is my breakfast frittata, it's time to serve it up.